stay in Sratul Mushtikim and the other 72 they're going to deviate and we are living those days right now because Muslim nation the Ummati Muhammad they have deviated not only a away from their nations but inside the nationality people they deviated from each other and they lost that faith but when it comes to the Western understanding they are taking things very holy. For example, I know so many Muslims, they taking trip going down to Egypt to visit what? The tombs of the Pharaohs, the Pharaohs. And so many, they are coming back, they are taking some stones and some sand from there thinking, I don't know what is their idea, but they thinking that they are blessed. But they are going to the tombs of the Pharaohs, and they are accepting that. When it comes to the Holy Prayer of the Holy Prophet والسلام, so much confusion everywhere. Just take it as a history. It's 1400 years, over 1400 years, this Sakal Sharif has been saved. Is the Prophet's beer, is a piece from the Prophet beer, alayhi salatu wasalam. So the Muslims, they are not bothering themselves with that. They are not trying to understand. They are not trying to connect their heart with that love to the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, because the faith is getting lower and lower and lower. And the faith 
is not moving the heart anymore. You know, so many of you, you know, when we are saying salawat, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, most of you putting your hand to your heart. Of course, as I say, most of the people, they lost that feeling too. They are not bothering themselves in any way because the heart is dead. It's clicking only for dunya, not for akhirat, not for profit. So why you think that tradition has reached to us from sahabe -i kiram sahabe -i kiram when the prophet's name used to mention their heart was jumping from his place and they had to hold their heart like that that was the love that they had to the prophet so alhamdulillah if you like to visit the beer of the holy prophet you are welcome if you think that is so much confusion is going around. Some saying is bidat, innovation, shirk. Sit, don't bother yourself. But I tell you, almost every one of you, you went to every museum, right? There's a museum here. What's in those museums? Some clay jars that is came under the ground a couple of hundred years ago. People, they are taking it very high, very valuable. Definitely the Prophet's beard is more valuable than anything else in this world. And the Prophet's beard, as our brother said before, is living. I witnessed it also. I have another beard that it came to my hand from the, our grandfather's Sultan Abdul Hamid Khan. And one day I was in seclusion and we have to cut that beard. And we cut the beer and the beer start growing again. So it's continuously growing, it's living, showing to us. Alhamdulillah. So inshallah, uh, we will be opening this. This is the respect that the Ottoman Sultans, Selchuk Sultans, Mughal Sultans, and every one of them, the rulers of the world, the rulers of the world, they were ruling under the banner of Islam, the flag of Islam. The Sultans of Ottomans, every morning after the Fajr prayer, Sultan has to get up, has to crawl inside the room of the Prophet where his belongings are. From the beer, from the sword, from the chuppe, from every, which there is one room up there, which they still today, is people they go and visit it, but it's under the under other rooms, there is 86,000 pieces belongings of Prophet Sahabi Sahabi Kiram and all other people that they came. They packed it very nicely. It's still there, so many of them. So the Sultans, every morning, they used to enter into the room, crawling into the room, taking the dust of the room, because that time they didn't have this much of clothes and the wind is coming from every side so every day the dust coming in and the sultans they have to clean the room by themselves they have to take the dust they have to put it some other place when they die they have to bury it they put those dust into their tomb so the sultans they were showing the highest respect to the prophet's beard and the belongings and then with the banner with the ceremony, they were opening the flag of Islam from Istanbul. They were pulling when sun is rising and the flag of Islam was opening. And in the room that Holy Prophet's beer and every belonging was, 433 years non-stop recitation of Quran i Kerim 24 hours a day. Up till 1923, when 23, one, someone, that we don't know where he's coming from. He bring fitna and confusion and the Hilafat came down and the Muslim nation, Ummet Muhammad, they have deviated into different nationalities and then inside they have lost that faith that they have. And you know our situation today. I don't have to tell you nothing. You know how the West enter everywhere and what they are doing 
And you and I cannot do nothing. Most of you, most of us, we are helping them. That is the reality. How the Sultans, they did it. They didn't have the technology, they didn't have anything. Matter of fact, when they came to Istanbul, to conquer Istanbul, it looked impossible. Just like one group of people coming to conquer whole America. But when Sultan came there, he came with the idea, with the heart, with the faith that the Holy Prophet said, one day this city is going to be conquered. And that city, that general is the highest and his army is the best to the army. And they didn't accept any boundaries. They didn't came with the planes, with atomic bombs, with sophisticated machines. They came with one sword and they are hard. And they give themselves for sake of Allah and they win up till 1923. And after that, we have lost. We didn't lose, we are falling down. It's about time to stand up again. Stop sleeping and wake up. Because if you don't wake up, Azrael is going to wake you up. If it's not tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow. If it's not tomorrow, next week. Azrael is visiting every one of us. Doesn't matter what kind of life you choose to yourself, but in the end, you're going to leave everything and you're going to enter to the grave. Only thing that is going to stay with us, how much we have remembered our Lord and how many salawats we have sent to our Prophet. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.